Hi guys, Matt from Phoenix Store. Today we're going to be looking at the TK-16. Following in the footsteps of the TK-22, which has been a bestseller for many years, the TK-16 is an upgrade in almost every category, and it's quickly become the preeminent tactical everyday carry light on the market. With a flawless design, incredible efficiency, and a wide range of accessories, this light is perfect for, al for almost anybody. So let's take a closer look now. All right, let's start by taking a look at the body and I'll highlight some of its key features. First of all, I'll just go over some of the features that have become standard on most Phoenix lights these days. It does have your intelligent memory circuit. That just means it will, it'll be on the mode that you left it off, that you left it on when you turn it back on. It does have a low voltage warning as well. If you run your bat, if you run your light long enough and your battery is decreasing, it will automatically reduce the level or re reduce the mode, uh, drop the mode that you're on, all the way until you get to low. And um, when you get to low and your battery is about to die, it will flash for you every few minutes, just letting you know that you need to replace your battery right now. It does have the digitally regulated output, and that maintains a constant brightness. You're not going to get a flicker or an increase and decrease in brightness. So, And also the reverse polarity protection. So you don't in put your battery in backwards and ruin your light. Looking at the battery, you've, you've got this spring on the tail, inside the tail switch, and you've got a spring in the body of the light. That is Phoenix's dual spring design that basically just provides better impact resistance if you were to use the strike bezel or if you drop your light and it also provides better functionality with these flathead battery designs this new flathead battery design these are becoming more common and phoenix is actually moving their entire line of batteries to this flathead design so you might start seeing that more often all right, so screw this back on. I pointed out a second ago, or I mentioned a second ago, the strike bezel, as you can see there. What's a, what's a tactical light without a strike bezel, right? Anyway, moving down, it does have some nice knurling all the way around the body and all the way around the tail switch. And with this grip ring here, you're not gonna lose grip of the light that's for sure all right let's let's uh, finish up on the tail the tail you've got your your classic your typical on off there but this mode switch here as you can see there it's at an angle and this is one of my favorite yeah, well this is my favorite feature of this light and it's one of my favorite new features phoenix has come out with in a while um, it just feels very nice in your hand that canted angle holding the light in this way or in this fashion it with that with that angled mode switch it, it just feels very nice I can't emphasize enough that that's a really nice feature of this light and I guess lastly it is waterproof to IPX8 standards and that of course means underwater for two meters for about half an hour so I think that about covers the body. Uh, now let's take a look at the output modes. All right, let's take a look at the output modes. There are five of them. Uh, this will be short and sweet. Uh, you got low, mid, high, and turbo and strobe. So in order to access those, you got this. Uh, you have your on-off right here and your mode switch right here. First, we'll turn it on. Drop it down to low. Uh, low runs 10 lumens at 150 hours. Tap your mode button, mode switch. Mid, 150 lumens at 10 hours. High, 400 lumens, 3 hours, 25 minutes. And the brightest is turbo, and that is 1,000 lumens, and that'll run 1 hour and 10 minutes. Lastly, press and hold 
and you've got your strobe and that does strobe at the full 1000 lumens. Now, like I said earlier, it's got a longer than longer than usual beam throw. It does throw a distance of 787 feet and that's 240 meters. That's that's extremely long for a light this size. Earlier I forgot to mention the actual dimension, so dimensions of the light, so I'll do that now. It is 5.5 inches long. The diameter of the, the diameter of the body is one inch, and the diameter of the head is 1.3 inches. And it weighs 4.3 ounces. So that covers the output modes. Uh, like I said, it'll be short and sweet. There, there are five. Uh, there's nothing you don't need, and everything you do need. It, it executes its simplicity to perfection in my opinion so before we sign off I'll show you guys a couple of the couple of its accessories we've got a gun mount and a tail switch to show you um, in addition to those there are four to five other accessories that we offer so you guys should check those out all right let's take a look at that gun mount all right this is the TK-16 in an ALG-01 attached to a Picatinny rail mount rail mount. So this ALG-01 here is a Phoenix gun mount and it attaches to the Picatinny rail via via uh, Allen wrench here. So give you guys a better look at that. It's a very solid piece, very solid accessory. It fits quite fit, fits most medium-sized lights like this TK16. In addition to the ALG-01, you see here this cord coming out of the back of the light. That is, this is the AER03, and in order to apply this, you, you remove the stock tail switch that comes on your that comes on your light, and screw on this tail switch that has the cord connected to this this remote here. This remote works just like your your stock your your normal tail switch. You've got your on off here. And you've got your pre your uh, mode select here, and again it works just like it works just like your normal tail switch. So I'll show you on off in mode switch, mode switch um, low, medium, high, and turbo. Um, on uh, it's got the momentary on half press half press mode on there, and it's got your immediate strobe, the mode switch right there. This is this is really this is really effective for any tactical situation as you can imagine. It, this this AR or sorry yeah this AR three does come with an adhesive piece of Velcro here. This piece this remote does have Velcro on the back of it. A lot of people tape it um, just makes it more secure. You don't secure you don't have to worry about it coming off. Uh, and it also can be placed wherever you want. I'm left-handed. I hold my gun this way, um, so that makes the the remote being right here just perfect. It's where I hold my hand, it doesn't obstruct me in any way, and that's it's a good way to turn on a light. If you're right-handed, you could have it on the other side. Some people like it here. A lot of people put it on their grip, um, switch on the grip here, so if it was right here, you could you could operate it with your with your fingers here any way you want really uh, it's, it's a very versatile product so that's it for the ALG01 and AER03 like I said in addition to these two um, these two accessories we do have several more I think there's about four or five additional accessories that we carry that do fit the TK16 and be sure to check those out on our website all right, guys, that wraps it up. TK-16. In my opinion, if you want a light that will fit on your nightstand, your tool belt, and your 12-gauge, there's no better option than the TK-16. It combines performance, functionality, and reliability to make this an indispensable tool for any occasion or situation. If you haven't already, I'd order one today. You won't be disappointed. Like always, if you have any questions about this light, anything I said in the video, anything at all, you can visit our website. Uh, you can comment below, of course. Um, give us a call, email us. We're always here to help. We are your Phoenix experts. So 
that about wraps it up. If you like this video, we really appreciate it. If you hit the like button, sub to our channel, sh even share it with your friends, that would be awesome. So until next time, thanks again for watching. You guys take care.